So when one thinks of security forces getting ready to go into battle, one of the most important pieces of protective gear that they carry and wear is a bulletproof vest. And why is that? Well, it's because they need to protect their most vital organs, specifically the heart. So, hey there, my name one is Joyce Mondiwa Higa, and today on Sitam Church Online, I'm going to be carrying on our series on the armor of God. And today we're going to be talking about protecting our spiritual hearts. And for that, we're going to be looking at the breastplate of righteousness. Now, as you've been emphasizing throughout this series, we're in a battle, a very serious one at that. And Satan's work is to kill, to steal, and to destroy. So he's going to continually attempt to pierce our most vital areas. And so God arms us with the breastplate of righteousness to protect our hearts and prevent Satan from delivering a very fatal blow. Okay? In fact, in Proverbs chapter 4, verse 23, the Bible encourages us to, above all else, guard our hearts because everything we do flows from it. That's what the New International Version says. The New King James Version says, because out of it spring the issues of life. Then the New Living Translation says, because it determines the course of your life. Very powerful statements, uh, really to emphasize how important and how vital, how critical our hearts are, even in terms of matters of the faith. And so as this is the breastplate of righteousness, the first thing we need to do is to be very clear about whose righteousness we are talking about. And what you're going to see is that ours will certainly not cut it. Isaiah chapter 64 verse six says, all of us have become like one who is unclean and our righteous acts are like filthy rags. We all shrivel up like a leaf and like the wind, our sins sweep us away. Romans chapter 3 verse 10 goes on to say, as the scriptures say, no one is righteous, not even one. In other words, this righteousness that we're talking about is not something that we create like ourselves. a leaf and it's not something that we produce. It is not something that we manufacture. Okay. Righteousness, true righteousness comes from God. We cannot attain right living or salvation on our own. It doesn't matter how often we attend church, how many ministries we serve in, you know, um, how much we tithe and give an offering, how much community service you do, or even how much you read your Bible. None of that actually matters. Our good works are not of value. It is God's righteousness, not our good works, which must serve as that breastplate um, and defend us against Satan. So what should we be doing to ensure that we are sufficiently protected? Well, we need to be seeking righteousness. That's what uh, the Bible talks about in Matthew chapter 6, verse 33. It says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. That is what we need to be pursuing. Okay, when we accept Christ as our savior, we should actively want a transformed, sanctified life. We can't say that we are a new creation and that we have this new life when we still have one foot in the past, okay? We have to let go of our old patterns, our old behaviors, our old attitudes, all of those things that we used to do then. We need to let go in order to be able to achieve the fullness of what God is calling us to be. And that is why our works will simply never cut it. Jesus wants our hearts totally surrendered to him and he promises in his word in Matthew chapter 5 verse 6 that those who hunger and thirst for righteousness will be satisfied. So is your heart protected? Is your heart 
protected? Is it securely guarded from the attacks of the enemy? Have you been relying on your own strength, your good works, your good deeds, you know, how much you tithe, all the nice things that we should be doing in this world? Have you been relying on those to keep you safe from the snares of the enemy? We all need to pause and just think again, right? And seek Christ's righteousness, the only breastplate of righteousness that will actually guard our hearts and cause us to stand firm against the enemy. Please do let me know what your takeaway is from what I've shared today. You can also let me know what you've enjoyed and learned so far from this series. I'd love to hear from you. Feel free Only to reach me on our right. social media platforms on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And of course, be sure to join me next week as we carry on with this the series enemies on the armor shared of today. You can then, also God let bless you. I'll see you soon. Bye. Me on our social media platforms platforms on Facebook, Instagram.